Hi my friends, and how are we all doing? I have got a review for a company tonight. Let's talk about complex scents. Let's talk about scent profiles 12 hours and up. Who am I talking about? It's a US company and we're talking about luxurious bastard. He is one of the greats for complex, long-lasting scents. I've had a couple in my lineup for a while, and I would like to share my thoughts with you guys. The first one I want to share with you guys is this, the Dark Bastard. Again, I love Lux's labels. It's 30ml, green bottle, dropper top. The bottles, these bottles to me, they, they just look awesome. Every time I look at the bottle, it just reminds me of being in, um, being in a chemist in the olden days up on the shop. I love the look of the bottles. This is the Dark Bastard. Give you guys the ingredients. It's got almond oil, it's, it's got avocado oil, rice bran oil, hazelnut oil, hemp seed oil, it's got apricot oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba, argan, vitamin E, and luxurious essential oil blend. With Lux's stuff, I could, I could read out the profile to you guys, but I'm not going to do that. Because if I read out the profile to you guys, can I pick out the profile? No. I find with Lux's scents, they are mysterious. And quite frankly, they change every time I wear Lux's stuff. I get something else which I didn't get before. So on these two oils, I'm doing my review. I'm gonna go on what I smell and, and when it's been in beard. This is the Dark Bastard. And the dark for me is an amazing, amazing profile. For me, the dark is smoky, sweet, spicy, sexy, and intoxicating at the same time. This dark bastard, seriously. It is, it's a, it's hell of a profile. This scent in beard is a 12 hour, 12 hours this is in beard and I can still smell it. 12 hours, no problem. Put it in beard, six o'clock in the morning. I'm still smelling this profile, six, seven o'clock in the evening. But it is a really, really intoxicating profile and that's the best way I literally can describe the dark bastard to you guys it is literally that it's smoky sweet spicy sexy and intoxicating I'll show you guys the color of the oil actually And put any in. There you go. Now let's put a couple of drops in. A few drops of it. It's a nice oil. Not too thick, not too thin. But he is hell of a profile, and the dark for me is one of my favorites, excuse me, mainly because every time I wear it, something new comes out the profile. Every time I wear it, something I didn't smell before, I'm like, oh, what's that? And that is what I love with Lux's stuff. It is all complex, 
strong, long lasting, but at the same time, his scents are so mysterious. I don't actually want to know what's in it because it is actually a treat to your, your senses and your smells. It changes so much. The Dark Bastard for me, 100% is a winner. If you guys are looking for a strong, long lasting, but sexy, sweet, smoky, he's got, there's, there's so, there's a lovely smoke in this. The Dark Bastard is for you, my friends. I put this into the beard, soaks in fast. My beard will stay soft and conditioned for the day. No problem. Scent, 12, 13 hours, comfortably, comfortably. So that's the Dark Bastard, my friends. Do I, do I recommend it? Hell yes, hell yes. With it getting colder here in the UK, it's getting colder. For me, this is when my stronger scents, I like in beard, especially if I'm working outside, I like to have a scent in beard, which I can smell all day. And the winter is coming and these scents are really, really gonna come into play. So anyway, I won't go on too, too much for you guys, but that's the dark. It is an intoxicating, complex scent. I'll do the pricing at the end for you, my friends. That's the dark. It's a hell of a profile. This next one, I've had for some time. This is hell of a, hell of a scent. I give you the tobacconist. The tobacconist. Again, labels are awesome. Got the name on the side, 30 mil, green, dropper top. I've wanted the tobacconist to try it for a long time. For a long time. And actually, I was gonna say at the end, but I will say now, the reason I managed to get this is if you go to Lux's site, you can sign up to the newsletter. So he makes all week and he drops normally on a Sunday. In the UK time, it's normally about eight o'clock at night. You get an email the day before. So I had an email, looked to see what he was dropping, and I couldn't believe it. The tobacconist was on the list. I was on the website, one minute past eight, Sunday, boom, got the oil, off and gone. If you guys are looking, um, the best way with Lux to know what he's dropping and when he's dropping is just go to the website, sign up to his new uh, to his newsletter, and technically you'll just get an email um, a few days before with the list of what he's dropping. Keeps you more in the loop because with Lux's stuff, he has a big, big following, and once he drops on a Sunday, long list of products normally. I can tell you within 20 minutes, and that's being generous, 20 minutes they're gone, just gone. You can go to the website and you can occasionally get lucky, but a lot of the profile he drops on a Sunday is gone. It's that fast. Anyway, let's do the tobacconist. Same carriers, it's, it's got almond oil, avocado, rice bran oil, hazelnut, hemp, apricot, castor, grape, Jehova, argan, vitamin E. The tobacconist. Oh. Oh. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put my cards on the table. This is my favorite tobacco scent. This for me is like a rolled dry leaf pipe tobacco. My great granddad used to smoke a pipe. This reminds me of his place. But 
hint of cherry, but this for me is one hell of a profile. The tobacconist, and it is exactly that. For me, it is a, it's just like a dry rolled leaf, but got a sweetness to it as well. Got a sweetness to it. And oh. if you like your tobacco scents, then I highly, highly recommend the tobacconist. I don't wear this very often. Um, once in a blue, once every now and again for me, the scent profile. I can put this in beard six o'clock in the morning. 12 hours later, when I've come home having tea, I can still smell this. I have my shower, go to bed. I can still pick this out the following day. No word of a lie, I can pick this out 24 hours. It is strong, but my God, it is fantastic. This is dry, rolled leaf tobacco. Slightly sweet. Wow. Slightly spicy. And again, with a tobacconist, every time I've worn this, um, up front I get this lovely dry rolled leaf sweet and spicy is the best way I can describe describe these scents it's, it's really really hard with Lux's stuff because it is complex I don't always get everything no way and that's fine but the best way on this one he is a dry rolled leaf tobacco slightly sweet but slight spice and my God, it is an incredible scent. My favorite tobacco scent, definitely, because as I said, with the winter, if I'm working outside, this is perfect. On a cold winter's day, I've got to be outside all day painting if it's not raining. This is perfect. Every time I've worn this scent, everyone around me can smell it everybody around me can smell it i've had compliments on this scent they always say oh what is that it's really nice then you explain a little bit and it twigs and they get it but wow the tobacconist fantastic scent um this is the strongest i have in my lineup of all of my oils this is the strongest i haven't had a scent yet which can go technically 24 hours because when I woke up the following day, I can still slightly smell it. But what a scent it is. If you guys, if you guys love your tobacco scents, I highly, you should try the Tobacconist. Lovely, dry, rolled leaf. Slightly sweet, slightly um, spicy. Absolutely fantastic. These go on the website, 1750 US. In UK money, you're looking around 1350. Like I said, the best way is if you sign up to the newsletter, you get an email a couple of days before he drops. You can have a look through the list. Um, he actually dropped the tobacconist. I had the email for last weekend. He actually did a run of tobacconist. Um, and before I've done this video, I actually went onto the website and both the dark and the tobacconist are actually still on the site just in oil just thought i'd let you guys know just in case anyone thought uh, they missed it but the newsletter is the best way you can keep up in the loop and uh, there is one more thing i want to show you guys because it's this is awesome i got this mug and the camera probably is not going to do it much justice this is one of his tumbler mugs. I mean, you've got it, got it on the handle engraved in. This is like three different colours going down this potbelly mug. I mean, this is this has got some serious weight, serious weight to it. The person, all handmade. Wanted to show you guys the mug because I just think this is an absolute beast of a mug i absolutely love it it's got some serious weight it's fantastic just wanted to just wanted to show you guys the mug 
and that's what I got for you, my friends. I just wanted to do a review for my two strongest scents in my lineup. They are both fantastic. Again, the tobacconist oil soaks in well to my beard, keeps my beard soft and hydrated. But that profile, phew, 20 hours, no problem. The dark, sexy as hell. And like I said, with Lux's stuff, it's each of them are mysterious. They have their own twist. Um, Lux always puts in extra to his profiles, like his little Lux twist. Um, I highly, highly recommend you guys checking out Luxurious Bastard. I'm gonna link in. I'm gonna link him down on Instagram. Link the website for you guys. Go and have a look. Both of the dark and the tobacconist are still up on his site. Sign up to the newsletter. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching, my friends. Hopefully I've not gone on too long, but I do appreciate you all. And I appreciate you all um, commenting and getting involved in my videos. It means the world to me. Thank you ever so much. And I'll see you real soon. Take care.